Hello, and welcome to the Twelve, where we seem to have been placed in charge of the uh, cooking of the meat here, around this cosy looking campfire. We are trucking along quite nicely, so nicely in fact, that I almost forgot to record a, an episode for this level. As you can see, we've enough to, uh, to go to 15. And I stopped myself thinking, crikey, I haven't, uh, I haven't um, done anything for uh, 14 yet. I don't actually have too much um, by way of notes. It's um, gone along very nicely, more of the same. Uh, my slight regret is we can't, um, we can't push the envelope a bit more, because if I if I start trying. Uh, higher we're going to take some really spiky damage and then this strategy of using the blood tribute on its own and not messing about with hirelings is just not going to work so um i think we're going to have to constrain ourselves to reaper one for the foreseeable future if i'll say again if we had a a group mate with any kind of healing because he, he doesn't require too much um I think we could really do well in uh, several skulls higher than we're doing now, let's say that. A uh, quick look at where we're at with the enhancements. Beginning to build up in the half orc tree. I have visions of putting around 20 points in here. There's some tasty stuff, especially on this third tier. We've got some more strike through, which might take us into a guaranteed three targets being hit each swing which would be lovely especially considering we're not even in epic yet uh, more power attack boost again excellent considering we're heavily invested in that already um, nice little line here each one of these is two to hit and damage when using two-handed melee weapons so really tasty again we've got um, extra damage to helpless now we do cause helpless the trip doesn't but the stun stunning blow does cause helpless so for the sake of a single point that would be nice to have 20 percent i mean when you think that um some people are spending 20 odd points in falconry not just to get the uh the 30 percent helpless damage but uh that's like a huge draw of that tree especially if you're a caster because the the tree is more focused towards uh the melee side i think so to be able to get this while at the same time having some excellent uh boosts to our build is great another nice uh i mean the the whole tree just synergizes wonderfully with our build extra strength when raging so that would equate to extra damage and dcs as well and then this with me thinking about not going in the um adrenaline based uh, fury tree that could be a, a nice replacement all right it's on a long cooldown but it's a guaranteed crit a heavy hit and we probably wouldn't have anything like that if we don't invest in the fury tree for a, a big shot i think it would be uh adrenaline and is it boulder boulder smash or something like that that's a 5w hit now this this would be a 4w so uh, and a guaranteed crit so that would hit pretty hard so it's a uh, for, for the sake of one point we maybe we might as well try it we'll see i mean i, I think we probably do have 20 odd points to yeah we've spent 59 so far so we probably have another yeah i, th I think we can get all the nice stuff we want in there and still have some things left over i've picked up uh for the sake of one point, one more hit and damage with heavy blades. Uh, in passing, I did note, because I was looking at investing in another different tree. I can't remember which one it was now, but uh, I noted that seven 
seems to be the maximum number of different trees you can be in just for the sake of interest I've never even gone remotely close to that but I like to think that uh, each one we've invested in here is definitely bringing something to the table the war soul for the trance for our extra damage and tactics DC occult slayer barbarian for to make our rages last longer um, Harper agent that's just one to hit and damage but uh, I had a universal um, action point for purple so I just threw it in there um, Ravager for um, to, to that's giving an extra six bonus damage on our power attack because it's doubled when you're using a two-handed weapon and that's not even taking anything um, anything away it's not even costing us uh, any to hit that one so that's very good obviously frenzied is the main tree we've got our haste boost coming from kensai and a little extra on the weapon damage and then the orchid tree which we're going to be investing plenty in It's a shame, actually. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong. That's not the one. I was thinking that was a strike-through thing. It's not. So, yeah, we're spread out all over the place, but it's uh, it's coming together reasonably well. The big one to note is we've um, finally gotten hold of the Frenzied Toughness, which comes with 12 levels of Barbarian. Although we're level 14 here, we've got one level of Fighter and one level of... Uh, favored soul haven't we so it's only just been at this level that we were able to take uh, that nice looking fourth core 60 maximum hit points is lovely as, especially as our uh, plus 25 percent competence bonus is going to scale higher with those added uh, the healing amp to be quite frank we're not really using it at the moment we could have zero healing amp at the moment and not really notice because we're not grouping with anybody and we're not uh, really using these little potions. It's almost completely been on the blood tribute. But the PRR is very nice to have. I think that's about it. As mentioned before, no changes in the gear. So... I thought we could have a quick go at the uh, diplomatic immunity quest, impunity even. And with no deed or we're going to have to do this uh, a long way round, aren't we? I think there is a bit of a shortcut way through uh, the natives area. But I'm not quite sure what's going on with that, so I'll just uh, I'll go the same way down that we came up. At least that way we'll clear some of them on the way down. Assuming, of course, that we get that far. These uh, these little scorpion things in here are really nasty. Along the ridge line, high above you, is a line of bamboo fencing. Oh, here we go. Game on. Oh, nice job. The Reapers, at least so far, have been far and away the the biggest threat. Through the brush ahead, you hear a guttural voice calling and for death easily to easily the most difficult to uh, to put down. You know, it lures you in, doesn't it, with those little collectible things that I don't even really particularly need. And then we get these damn scorpions popping up around them. I'm 
tried to put my um, little things I click on reasonably often for boosts. I've tried to throw them in the same area here, four, five, and six. The rage and the uh, divine uh, will to try and make it easier for me to remember to uh, to hit them all together. The cavern ahead reeks of feline occupation. This must be where the panthers make their den. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's it until we get to, to the uh, clearing. the guy From down the here, or maybe not. The tang of salty sea air. Some of that. It's the first the time I've ever had that stunning blow, so the first chance I see it in action. So I get Perhaps the impression that's never going to get town. old, this life. I think my um, soldiers and siege machines is disturbed. Overemphasis on crowd control probably comes from two reach. things. With luck you can make it back to camp without encountering any Droam forces. The first being the fact I predominantly solo. So um, it's quite important to be able to neutralize nasty targets. The second um when I first started the game, in common with plenty of others, I'm sure, um, nothing I tried would work, you know, no, because of the uh, lacking gear and that kind of thing and game knowledge. None of the um, CC spells or attacks I would try would ever work. So to see something working, it's like, oh, it did what it's supposed to. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just like it now. Now that I have a shot at uh, getting things to work as they should. Another Throam scouting party has been destroyed. By now, there must be many parties of Throam soldiers spread throughout the jungle. Not too many. Let's hope. Just watching the map and tracing back the way we've come. I think we left an archer there. We'll pick him up on the way back. Okay. I can't immediately recast that night shield because we are raging at the moment. I think we're almost back at the base, aren't we? So we can switch the rage off. Have I actually just gone the, uh, turned around and gone the wrong way? Uh, no, no, I don't think I have. I'm a bugger for doing that, though. So, <laughs> so often in the game, I, I can just move the mouse by accident, maybe, and then go wandering off completely in the wrong direction and not notice. Okay. Let's go. Now hopefully most of the stuff has been dealt with on the way down, so on the way back, hopefully the journey isn't uh, too bad. 
if you have a trapper in your party you can disable some of the traps but it has to be during the end fight they don't come up until the end fight started and of course we're not a trapper anyway so I don't really know why I mentioned that it's a pet peeve of mine in this game that the foliage and background and things cover you you know especially when you're in the middle of the action you you can't it doesn't go uh, opaque i think i'm trying to say and it makes it quite difficult sometimes to follow the uh, the action oh look at that beautiful triple stone there happy days uh, let's not go off the beaten track here To 49 strength. That's not bad at all. It's probably got a shot this life of being the highest main stat, at least while leveling, that Purple's ever had. I think he's pushed his um, corn up towards. Um, oh, that was the stray archer that I'd left behind and I've now wasted a boost on not to worry he's pushed his con up towards the not quite to a hundred but not too far off with the end warlock build but that's with all the legendary stuff going on aside from that I think uh, we tend to end up what did we end up with the alchemist in the low 60s weren't we uh, on intelligence Come on, this is a bit feeble. Stop being too precious with the boost. Okay, Fear Reaper, let's get stuck in. Nice. Oh, wow. rest on the plateau above while the stones are ancient the tents and banners around them are not I don't think I've seen any advance on that uh was it 1500 and some that we managed to hit one time? I think the stars must have all aligned for us to get that. Like maybe the target was stunned so it took more damage and we had our uh, cracking attack boost on as well as everything else going on with all the rages and that. I'm guessing that's what happened there. From ahead, a rough voice barks out. Soldiers of Droam? Stand down. The war captain wishes to parley with the intruders. Only one intruder. But we will parley with the war captain. Okay, let's make sure before we parley that everything is as it should be, so... Re-rage. Our other two boosts are on. We've got the... Uh, Dodge boost ready to go. Now there is a small bonus, isn't there, for... Uh, oh god, not neg levels. I must have been in here more than ten minutes, I guess. There's a small bonus for killing the... Um, minions before the boss falls but uh, I will settle quite happily for getting the job done and I think we have well done the orc So 
so 15 then we'll be taking our uh, our next reaper cores so we'll be having a bit more strength there and con in the defensive one i must say it makes a change as well to uh to be invested in this uh dread tree and actually have the the uh, stats working for us the stats and the tactic dcs i don't think i think i can probably count on the figures fingers of one hand the number of times i've made use of stuff in here so that's quite nice to do too we're going to end up with um fourth cause in both and both are lovely we've got two to hit and damage there and uh one to all saves and a hundred on hit points here so that's going to be great and of course we are adding our shan gear which will probably lead to a bit of a rejig now on taking 15 so we'll see how that uh, shakes out and i will let you know i think that about wraps it up for this one so thanks very much as always for looking and i'll speak to you next time Take care.